Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, I want to talk about one feature that I do like about Microsoft Edge browser. Uh, even though, you know, you might not like Edge there, every browser has things that others don't or that are different and that are, you know, maybe interesting depending on what you uh, do and the use you have for your browser. Uh, one of them is uh, really cool, and it's the... Uh, famous functionality for um, what's called immersive reader. So in Chrome, if you are on a web page, you just have to, f you know, keep and stay the web in the web page and, 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 you know, have the information and anything else with it, or maybe even ads, depending on what you are looking at. And this, of course, is the standard way. There's no way to have any specific reader in the uh, Google Chrome browser. You're just on the page and you stay there. And it's obvious that the reason they do this is to simply uh, make sure that you focus on the fact that there are ads in my, and since Google does uh, its main business with ads, you know, they don't want to remove them from most of the pages because could remove revenue from uh, Google itself. But one of the things that is nice is when you are on a article, and now we're going to move to Edge, the immersive reader is really cool because it takes the page and it will actually change it into a focused page with the pictures and just the text that you want to read. So it really focuses on what you want. And I think for people that not just it not doesn't just make it easier for anyone to read an article if you're easily distracted by anything else on a page i think it's a really cool feature and if there's one thing that i would that i praise um, microsoft edge for is really that immersive reader that i actually use a lot when i go and start reading articles and of course it comes with its host of different uh, features, including the read out, read aloud, so you can have the text read. You can, uh, of course, choose the text preferences, the size, the color, the backgrounds. There's grammar tools, and of course, reading preferences that you can go and check out what you want to have, and if you want to have translations and so on. So I think it is a nice feature, and even though, and even if you don't like Edge, really. Just that feature alone could be, you know, if you read the articles from time to time, maybe you could use Edge for that purpose. Um, I wish it would actually come to the uh, Google Chrome browser because I do think it is a very, very nice feature in uh, Microsoft Edge, the immersive reader uh, that they have, functionality that they have. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.